you want me to put this on or just leave it up here? Leave it up there, Coach. Okay. Okay. Uh, um, first of all, uh, very, very disappointing. Thank you. Very disappointing game. Uh, felt like uh, we came out of the blocks fast. Uh, good kickoff return. Big play on the first play of the game. Uh, they came right back and scored. Uh, just overall, I got to give credit to Missouri State. Uh, they're a good football team, and I knew they were coming in. That wasn't just coach speak. That was I, I knew they were a good football team. Everybody in our league's good. There's nobody, there's nobody in our league that's not good, and there's nobody in our league that can't beat somebody else on any given uh, weekend. So uh, you know, we we uh, we didn't play well enough. Uh, they played well enough. Uh, they made the plays when they needed to make them. We didn't. We turned the ball over. Uh, we didn't run the football well enough on offense. We gave up too many big plays on defense. Uh, I think it's simple as that. Questions? Mike, uh, defensively, the, the, it was a bad sign, that first series, and then it went downhill really quickly from there defensively, and that's – you know, that, that was the first thing, obviously, but just talk about that first and just uh, Missouri State was able to move the ball uh, with with a lot of uh, consistency in the first half in particular. Yeah, I think uh, that first drive, uh, when they got the ball, they, you know, they were able to move it very well. Um, and I think there was a period of time there when we got some stops, uh, like in the second quarter when we got, you know, uh, they got up on us and then we got some stops and we, uh, scored uh, to, to get it to 24-24. I thought at that point going into halftime that we uh, kind of had it uh, back on track and that you know it was 0-0 at halftime, basically 24-24. And I believe we were going to win the second half. And we, uh, we didn't do that. You know, we, we didn't play well enough. We didn't uh, make the plays at the right time. They did. And, and we turned the ball over. Malik Earl, their wide receiver, number 17, was was uh, he had 11 catches uh, today. Uh, just talk about what a difficult matchup he was, and then in tandem with their other wide receiver, Holloman, uh, that was that was difficult, especially after Lionel Brown got got injured. Yeah, uh, and, and uh, that that was difficult. He's a good player. 17 is a very good football player. Number five is a very good football player going into the game, uh, and their quarterback played well. You know, he's you know he. Uh, for all the talk about what happened with the other quarterback, uh, this guy played really well. Uh, I got to give them credit, you know. Uh, you know, and we we have got to play better than that. We didn't play. We didn't play like we could play. As you mentioned, the turnovers, especially in the second half, hurt hurt a lot. You also lost three fifths of your offensive line uh, as well. You know, just talk about the influence that had. Not not to make excuses, but that that didn't help your cause either. Yeah, it's, it's, we've been, uh, I guess, uh, protected from the injury bug pretty well uh, up until this game. And uh, we lost, boom, 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 three offensive linemen, James Lang, Matt Byrne, and Dakota Vermillion uh, in the second quarter. Uh, and they, uh, two of them were declared out uh, in the second quarter. Uh, they held Dakota out, and then they declared him out at halftime. I don't know how that's all going to pan out, but they were they were all three head injuries, um, and uh, uh, then Lonell Brown being hurt was was significant. Uh, I don't know all the details of that, but it, it doesn't look good. Bob Hugh too. Uh, it looked like he was missing after the yeah, second Bob quarter. Yeah, Bob Hugh so. had an ankle sprain uh, that happened early in the game. I'm going to say end of the first quarter, second quarter. Uh, he was he was. Uh, he had an ankle sprain. When you talked to me earlier this week, you talked about the roller coaster that this team has taken you on in the course of games, and um, today's game was no different from that. How, how do you kind of compute this roller coaster right now in the in the scope of a loss after going through it in the scope of two wins? Um, you know, how does this team get out of that that uh, pattern that they've had? In, you know, some good and some bad, and today the bad hurt you. Yeah, I think. Uh... Too much bad, I, you know. It, the, the the good news about the two the two games that we won, you know, when I you know I, I I'm not I'm, you know with all due respect to Butler, I'm talking about 
SEMO and uh, Illinois State. Those two games, uh, you know, we were a roller coaster, but we had enough highs, you know, that we were going up the roller coaster enough that there weren't the downs. And today it was a, I don't know how roller coasters go that way, but there were way too many downs and not enough ups. And, uh, and that, you know, it, it, that's the only thing I can say, you know, as far as an analogy. We've got to find a way to, uh, to eliminate that and, and play more consistent and eliminate the downs. We've got to tackle better. The past couple of weeks, Coach, you really credited the guys of sticking together late in those games and being able to pull out those wins against Seymour and Illinois State. I know you pointed to the turnovers, but really besides the turnovers, what did you feel was the biggest difference in the second half? Uh, I would say the combination of turnovers and the fact that they made plays and we didn't make plays. You know, I mean, it comes down to that. you got to be able to make plays, and we didn't make the plays when we needed to make plays, and they did. Somebody else, I think, was starting to ask Kind questions. of cut off my next my question. Uh, another week we're slow starting the second half today. The last week we were able to combat that, get the win. Today, obviously, second half and the first had different stories. What do you do going forward to try and help? You know, going in the half, coming out stronger than you did. Yeah, we've got to evaluate that. Uh, we've got we've got to do better in the third quarter. Uh, you know, we, we must be better than that. We've just got to evaluate it. I I I don't have the answer right now. I've got to I've got to look at it and evaluate it and discuss it with our coaches and, and go from there. Mike, when you look at it defensively, in terms of what you evaluate, you mentioned tackling. Are there other things that you look at in terms of evaluations going forward? Um, Missouri State was able to both run and throw the ball pretty effectively today. I mean, I know it's you haven't looked at film or anything like that yet. Yeah, the two things that I would say, uh, let me give, go, give you three. Uh, I already said tackle, okay? Our run fits were not what they needed to be. Uh, our people weren't fitting. You know, there's places that people need to fit in the run game, and we were not. Uh, you know, we'd have everybody fit except one guy, and they were hitting the hole that that, that one guy didn't fit in. And so we've got to be better in that regard. Um, and then we can't have, we, we, you know, we had balls thrown over our head today. Uh, big plays thrown over our head. We can't do that. Anything else? All right, thank you.